Oh, never mind your interface, love. Show us your private variables. Oh, you've just overloaded me, operator. I'm gonna invent your binary tree, love! In this stage, we're going to draw horizontal and vertical lines. This will allow us to render the floor and ceiling. We'll also have a look at using number to optimize our code. Let's make some additions to the renderer's initializer. First, we'll store the size of the window and update the color palette. To draw a vertical line, we simply take a number representing the color we want to draw and copy it to a slice of the color buffer. Let's define a function to do this. We can test this by drawing some vertical lines in the renderer's update method. That was pretty straightforward. Let's try the same for horizontal lines. Interesting. It doesn't work. Our color buffer is an array of arrays. So the X coordinate is used to select a vertical line of the screen. And then the Y coordinate is used to access into that vertical line. The upshot of this is that we can't write to a range of X coordinates at the same time. We can still draw horizontal lines, but a for loop is needed. And there we have it. Now let's write a function to fill a rectangular region of the screen. We'll achieve this by repeatedly drawing lines to fill the whole space. As we saw before, vertical lines are simpler than horizontal lines. So let's fill the rectangle with vertical lines. It's probably worth mentioning Pygame's coordinate system. In Pygame, coordinates run from left to right and top to bottom. So the left of our screen is x equals zero, the right of our screen is x equals 639, the top of our screen is y equals zero, and the bottom of our screen is y equals 479. With that in mind, let's draw the ceiling and floor. Now that we're filling the whole screen, the clear screen method is not needed. Given that we're running a for loop in Python, performance is surprisingly good on my machine, but we can make things faster. Number is a Python package which offers just-in-time compilation. Usually in Python, function calls are all handled inside the interpreter. With number, we can mark a function for compilation. Number then intercepts the function call, inspects the data types of the arguments, and then dispatches the function call to a machine code compiled version. The first function call is slow as compilation occurs, but when it's warmed up, the speed ups can be incredible. Number is also designed to work well with NumPy arrays. Let's mark our draw rectangle function for compilation. Because it calls the draw vertical line function, that function will also need to be marked. This is because the compiled machine code has no idea how to call Python code.
but we can do better. Number will skip the dispatch selection if we tell it upfront what data types we're expecting the parameters to have. This is called eager compilation. Let's head to the config file and import the 32-bit integer type. We can then decorate the functions. Function calls aren't free. In the process of calling a function, all local variables are saved and restored. A common optimization is function inlining, preferring some code repetition over context switching. We can take the vertical line code and paste it into the draw rectangle function. This has the added benefit that the draw vertical line function doesn't need to be compiled for now. And that's it. In the next stage, we'll load in a map from a text file. I hope to see you there. Hi, so I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to all of my channel supporters. If you would like to support the channel, it's $2.50 a month. That's all I ask, but it's not expected. If you are not able or willing to support the channel financially, the best thing you can do is the usual. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know what you're enjoying because I am trying to make the best educational content that I can under the constraints. So with that out of the way, Really big thank you to Antonin Karet, Dankiel Foles, Declan, Andalon Studios, Isaiah Meyer, Mathieu Derick, Moim, and Shreya. Thank you so much, my dudes. I really do appreciate it. It's fuel for the fire. Keep me going, keep me motivated. Um, but yeah, have a great one, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.